What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Teddy Set here for my first online TCGO pack opening. With Worlds just having ended, I was watching plenty of tournaments, plenty of competitions, everything like that, and it really just piqued my interest in the TCGO. Well, obviously they were playing in real life, but you get the point. I just like to play with cards now. So, I have all these cards from very fantastic followers of mine on Twitter, all of these pack codes, and I really love the fact that everyone is being so helpful with this, because like I said, I'm just having so much fun with it. My knowledge of the TCG probably begins and ends at just like the old vintage cars and their worth, but let's give it a go. So I'm first starting out by opening all my Ancient Origins packs. <clears throat> now with the rotation, Ancient Origins is probably like one of the last packs that I really like to use. Starting off, nothing too strong. We did get a couple new cards. I am always a fan of uh, new trainer cards. Trainer cards really just make up half of my decks, so, you know. Our next pack, we're not seeing anything new on our top row. Two new ones on the bottom row, and the two rares are going to be... Ooh, look at that, Giratina EX. Now, I got really, really messed up by a Giratina and uh, Darkrai EX deck the other day, and it really... I wanted to cry, to be honest. They're pretty powerful. <laughs> now, I did get a uh, Electric Energy the special energy and an Ampharos EX. Now I already have one, but that does open up the door for me to run a uh, electric type deck. No complaints there. I'm currently running a Flareon and a Blastoise EX deck, uh, both separate decks, only one type each. And look at that, Sceptile. I'll take that. Not too bad, back-to-back -back EXs. So top row for our next pack, nothing too good. And our two flipped over cards, and we got the two what is that? Gudra and Regice. Sorry. I'm watching this through the preview on Sony Vegas, and it's kind of terrible. And another one of the special electric energies. You know, an electric deck is really, really looking viable right now for me. I think that might be my next step in deck building. Also, one of the biggest things about this video, and another reason that I put this up, is so you guys can recommend me either websites, people, videos, literally anything that you can give me to help me progress my knowledge of this game I would really appreciate it and we got that ancient trait and Tay love ancient trait cards I love how they look and I actually don't know how viable they are in the current format I mean I used a Medicham ancient trait once and it's pretty cool I mean I don't see why you wouldn't like it and yet another electric energy you know what I like that a lot whatever was that the last Ancient Origins? I think it was. Dude, literally so many energies. If y'all need any energies, hit me up. I'm the plug. <laughs> Next breakpoint or first breakpoint. I forget. I wasn't looking at the time. Just enjoy the packs and open them. Live vicariously through me. Pretend that you're pulling everything from here, even though my pulls have been kind of crap so far. Next pack, we got the Pharaoh Seed on top that we didn't have before. Pangoro and is that Persian? I think it was Persian. Top row, nothing new. Bottom row, that Corsola is new. Ooh, and look at that, Scizor EX. I hear Scizor is actually really viable in the current format now that Night March is taken out. That broken, broken ass deck. Uh... I actually battled the Scizor deck, but I had my Flareon deck, so obviously I had the type advantage. Suicune is always nice. I, I love it as a card in real life. I have a few of them. I don't know how viable it is, but that would definitely do a lot of wonders as a basic Pokemon on my... Oh, my lord. Look at that. Double pull. The break and the EX. I'll take that gold up break any day. So, now we have two Scizor EXs. That could definitely, definitely do me some justice in the long run. <clears throat> now, nothing new on the top row. Everything on the bottom row is new. I like that a lot. And we got the Garchomp. That Garchomp is really overpowered, if you can manage to evolve it up. I personally don't like three-stage evolution Pokemon. I just think it takes way too long to set up, but that's just my opinion. So, two new on the top, uh, all new on the bottom. So, uh, yep, all new on the bottom. I love getting new cards. Whenever I get a new card in the game on here, like in real life, I wouldn't even know if a card is new or not, but because it has the little badge up top now, it's just so fantastic because I get to see what they all do, get to see if they're going to be any good in my decks, everything like that. Just a big fan of this game in general. I don't know why I slept on it for so long. And we get the Mega Glalie EX. Totally will take that. 
no complaints there. I mean, hey, even if I can't build any decks with these, they're going to be great trade bait. So we're opening up this Fates Collide now. Let's see what we get here. Nothing new up top. Strong energy is new on the bottom. And we move on to Steam Siege, finally. If I've kept you guys' attention for this long, which I really doubt. First pack gives us three new cards. <clears throat> Pray for that Sycamore Full Art. I mean, I already have some Sycamores, but the Full Arts just look so pretty, you know? We got the Braviary that's new. And that's it. Atlanta Braviary represent. That's my team name for draft leagues. The Mantine is new on the bottom, and that's it. We do have that Hoopa. I'm not sure if that's the Hoopa that everyone's ranting and raving about on uh, like the in the new format. That's really like screwing everybody up hard. But give that a try next. All right, two flipped cards. Nothing too great. That uh, Probo Pass is new. Again, nothing too great. Gastrodon is new. I love that they put both of the colors of Gastrodon in there. And nothing new in this pack. We're getting to the point. Ooh, I'll take that. Full art Mega Go, even though I already have one. We're getting to the point in like these pack openings, like on here. I've put on I put in a bunch of my own codes and a bunch of other codes that people have given me throughout the past like week or so. But I'm getting to the point where I don't have anything new in these packs, so I can just start trading off full packs themselves for the cards that I need like those shamans like uh, versus seeker trainer males everything like that all the good stuff Let's see what we get here and look at that another mega guard of war definitely will take that I actually got really messed up by a mega guard of war deck before he had a uh, what was it some what was it called skyfield something like that lets you have eight benched Pokemon so despair ray really just <laughs> royally screwed me was this my last pack? I couldn't tell. I didn't really take a look. I think it was. Nope. One more. Yes. This is our last pack. Let's pray for something good. Come on. Come on. Um, Nothing. Even the shell off gives you the different colors. I like that a lot. Bob. Cue that song from SpongeBob. Like the when they put in the Krabby Patty. Amoogus. Prime Ape nothing good well guys thank you very much for watching until next time this is the teddy set signing off